you do your little narration. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to say something? Let me see your shirt. Yes. <laughs> what up, everybody? Just got out of my surgery. Everything went good. Um, full ACL restruction. Restruct. What is it called, Dad? Restructure. Is this real? Life? Uh, reconstruction. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Full ACL reconstruction. And both meniscus and my right knee were also repaired. I'm feeling a little woozy, but it all went good. Looking like Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Check back in a little bit. Bunch of first timers to the channel. Not gonna go into like it's my beautiful girlfriend helping me out. This is what day three. Yeah. Day three. Um, didn't film an update yesterday because pain all day, pretty much, really bad. Day three though, doing a lot better. Saw me do a little PT. I'm gonna start doing that more and more. For the next week or so locked up with this coronavirus so I don't really know what the actual PT plan is gonna be but we're grinding my way back and I think every day it's gonna get a little better still a lot of work to do all right guys so we are let's see a little over a week post-op now and I wanted to make my final update for this video on the ACL meniscus repair recovery. So, I'm not gonna lie to you, the first week was not easy. Um, the first few days were pretty easy. Like the first two days, I wanna say, were pretty easy. You probably saw early on in this video, I was in pretty good spirits. What came after that was not fun at all. Just a lot of pain, a lot of struggling to sleep, a lot of, you know, it wasn't even my knee necessarily. Which, which I, I thought was weird. It was the muscles around it, like my hamstring, um, my butt cheek, like all of those muscles got super tight and were super painful, especially at night when I was trying to sleep. Um, I really couldn't sleep at all. Once, you know, they give you the pain meds, you're on those for a few days, you come off of those and you can still take like ibuprofen and stuff like that to help with the pain, but you know, it, it it sucks. I mean, it's a major surgery and it sucks. Yeah, the last two days have been much better. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. The pain is way down. I don't even take ibuprofen anymore for pain. I'm just taking it to help with the inflammation. Um, but there's really no serious pain. I mean, it's achy, it's stiff. Uh, the, the flexibility and everything, which I'm about to show you, still isn't there, obviously. It's, we got a long way to go. But, um, 
I can see slow progress being made. You know, the pain's down, my therapy, my exercises are going better and better each day. I'm able to do more and more. Obviously, there's a few setbacks here and there, like uh, the day I was allowed to unlock my brace a couple days ago, which was exactly one week post-op, you're allowed, or I was allowed to unlock my brace from just being locked at zero degrees um, to being able to bend all the way to 90 degrees. So that day, it felt phenomenal to finally bend my leg. Like, all my muscles were so tight from being locked straight for so long that that, you know, unlocking felt great. And I was bending my leg, like, all day. I was sitting normally in chairs. It just felt amazing. But then come the end of the night, when I tried to go straight in my knee, it it's probably the worst pain since injuring it. Um, it hurt so bad because even though the other muscles that had been tight for so long had loosened up, with me having it bent all day, the, I, I, I don't really know um, the actual what happened in there mechanically, but it didn't like being bent for that long, for a long period of time. So trying to re-straighten it that night was a struggle. And what I ended up doing and what I've been doing since then is locking it straight at night and then throughout the day, I leave it unlocked, but I have a big focus on continuously getting that extension as much as I can, which is still very far from being full extension. Like, compared to my other knee, it's, it's far, but that's what therapy's for, and that's, you know, a lot of people go through this, but that's helped a lot, leaving it locked at night, waking up, unlocking it, and doing stretches throughout the day to, to keep it loose, keep it, you know, warm, if you will, and to just stretch everything around my knee. Um, but yeah, it's feeling a lot better. I don't even think I've taken ibuprofen today because it just hasn't hurt. But, uh, um, you know, I've maintained ice. I, I've done everything I need to be doing. And at this point, it, it, you know, once the pain is finally gone, which will probably take another week or so, um, I'm going to be really excited to see what I'm able to do therapy-wise and hopefully get on an exercise bike. I'm non-weight bearing for another month or so unless something changes there. So, the crutches have been brutal. There's no getting around it. That's, this is the final thing I'm going to talk about for anybody that may be going through this. Um, prepare for the crutches. I mean, it's just, it's literally brutal. You need somebody to be there with you basically 24-7. Luckily, my girlfriend, my amazing girlfriend, has been helping me non-stop with this. Um, and I honestly, if I didn't have somebody around basically all day, I don't know what I would, be, what I would do. Because like, you can't even carry a cup of water over to a table to drink it if you're on crutches. It's just by far the worst part other than the pain is the crutches. And you know, a lot of people might be weight bearing right after surgery and that's phenomenal. For me, I'm not. I have a long ways to go until I'm able to walk without crutches. So mentally, I think that's been the biggest challenge, just being so immobile, just being so immobile and um, you know the crutches suck. Have a backpack, pre-plan ahead if you're gonna go downstairs or something, pre-plan. Make sure you know you have everything that you need. When you get down there, make sure you get everything that you need to bring back up. You don't wanna take multiple trips, it's really frustrating. So plan ahead, do everything you can to get you ready for getting around the house on crutches and have somebody to help you. Um, so that's, that's been the hardest part. But anyways, before this video ends, I want to show you the progress I made with um, my exercises and stuff like that and then I'll be checking out for this video and we'll be checking back in in a couple weeks maybe a month or so and let you know how I'm doing maybe the first month of recovery
I'll do one. That's okay. It's sore today. You did a lot yesterday. Yeah.